and slam. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Hercules, and we're up against a Bakasura. So I actually ended up recording a Hercules game last week, and it went pretty amazing. And then the file just disappeared. Like, I don't know if I accidentally deleted it or what. But anyways, we're here now. Welcome to yep. the big leagues, ladies. Play hard or go home. Now, what I wanted to do, and I still want to do, is I want to do Bumba's Hammer with Malicious Deathbringer. I know everybody's doing it. Because, man, Malicious Deathbringer is pretty OP. But it's fun. It is fun. So, uh, what else do I want to... I just want to go straight into it, honestly. That'll work. And then I think I will go a blink. Oops. Why did it not? There we go. So, the whole point of this build is that Bumbus Hammer, you know, you auto-attack in between abilities. It lowers all your cooldowns. Malicious Deathbringer, every time you uh, get a crit, all your cooldowns are reduced by one second besides your ultimate ability. So if I go crit Hercules with Bumba's Hammer, I have no cooldowns. I just keep using them over and over and over again. I don't know how that'll work against Bakasura, considering that when he ults, I'll be, you know, I'll be crippled, unfortunately. But we'll see what happens. Looks like he's just going for the double buff. That's fine. He's going to miss out on some minions. Plus, I get the minis. I think we'll be pretty even uh, overall. He'll be a little ahead in XP. I'll be ahead in gold, I think. Depends on how many minions he misses to tower. Looks like he went Blink, Mannequins, and Katana. Okay. Yeah, but I've been loving Season 9, man. I've been playing it a bit on stream. A bit for YouTube. I guess not as much for YouTube, sorry. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been, I've been having fun. Whoa, that was a... That was quite a blink. In fact, I'm tempted to try to kill you. Yep. <gasps> 12 HP. So that kind of went according to plan. Not really. I was hoping to hit my 2. But once I missed the 2, he was still close enough where I could just push it with my 1. I just, I just went for it, man. I actually got a tiny bit of lag spike when I did that, but it's fine. Now the question is, do I go Rage? Because the point of this build is I have to have high enough crit chance to proc Malicious Deathbringer over and over again. So if I go Rage plus Deathbringer, that's already going to be pretty much full crit chance. But if I don't go Rage, I'm going to have to get the crit chance somewhere else. Actually, the way I worded that, I made it sound like it's positive no matter what. Okay, this is not a problem. The problem is if I get rage and then I start losing, it's over. Like, it's just not going to be a good item. And it's going to be keeping me behind. I have to get at least, like, two or three kills for it to be, like, really worth it. Okay, that is your everything down. However, I am very low health, too. Oh, the minions. Okay. Well, I do have my all, but... Will he stay close enough for it? <laughs> I guess that answers that one, doesn't it? I guess it answers itself. <laughs> Thank you, Boxera. I really do appreciate that. That'll work. Oh, I don't have my bot open. Let me open that real quick. I have a hotkey to open it now. That way it can update the little Hercules icon. If my hotkey works, maybe it won't. If it doesn't, that's that's okay. Uh, he's on his blue buff right now. I, I should have time to take this with Bumba's Hammer. Oh, nice crits. Nice. Can put an extra point in my three. He could actually do a huge amount of damage to me with his ult, but I don't. I think he's too scared right now to go for that. If I get a crit here, oh, come on, another crit! Oh, he is lagging big time. Whoa, maybe I'm lagging. You gonna jump? I know you want to jump. 
Jump, Foxer. Oh. Uh oh. This is weird. This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> this is such a weird fight. <laughs> I can't believe I missed my one again. No way I killed him with that twice in the same way. <laughs> but that time I did die for it. That's so funny though that he leaped on me and died again the same way. All right, we need to get some some cooldown. Or actually, no, not cooldown. Uh, we need what do I need? I need defense. So I could go breastplate, of course. Uh, late game I would be overcapped a little bit, but that doesn't matter. I always mention that, but it really doesn't matter that much. I could go emperor's armor, which is what? which has been buffed. It's honestly an amazing item. Gives. 60 defense some health plus if you're under their tower it slows down their tower if you're under your tower it buffs it by a huge amount which is great against gods that dive you kind of like boxer oh you're in a weird spot my friend wait thought my two was up hold on oh you are lagging like crazy my friend Yeah, I think the lag's on him and not me. I missed that again. My one wasn't quite ready when I plucked him, so I waited a little bit, and I tried to line it up, and I messed it up. Okay, this could be bad. Come on, heal me. Oh, I didn't do the auto attack counts fast enough. The one turnaround was great. Um, I think my alt was coming up. If it was up, even if I went for the alt, he probably would have been able to get the auto attack off in time. But if I one autoed to, or excuse me, if I if I did my ability, then auto attack, then uh, you know properly, quickly enough, I would have killed him. But I didn't. I was a little bit slow. If you look at the video, and he was able to get me first. That's okay. It looks like he's got Golden Blade. He is not getting defense yet. Okay. That is pretty normal for Boxer, but I am a warrior. I'm Hercules, man. Don't you dare get that red buff. I will alt it. He did just use his Eat Minion, so he can't even steal this from me if he wanted to. Whoa. He is moving like crazy. Like, maybe this is a little odd. He is very fast. I know he has two movement speed items, but whoa. Oh, I missed that. That was on me. That was 100% me. Oh, you do be moving. Oh, there he goes again. probably could have tried to fight me there i'm losing a lot of my damage currently also malicious deathbringer is only on enemy gods meanwhile uh bumbus hammer is on anything it is good to make that distinction there's a big difference between it also i'm gonna put a ward directly on demon king my other wards running out and by doing that if he tries to sneak it i'll know where he is and maybe i can blink and try to kill him he's going meditation you know what i'll go meditation too Especially because I can get Cloak, and that'll help my cooldowns a, just, a, just a ton. Now, if I do want max cooldown late game... Oh, you going for that? Oh, he's moving so fast on the minimap. So, by going Emperors instead of Breastplate of Valor, now I do need 10% cooldown. If I can get that with so many things, okay. <laughs> I would say, I would maybe like try to be like, oh, he's hacking, but it doesn't seem like his lag is working to his advantage. Like he's missing the autos. I mean, I'm definitely missing things because of it as well, but thank you. Oh, that's your escape. There we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, but we're getting there. I really want to get to level 20 so I can get the cooldowns. That would be ideal. I'm 
Hold on one second. Okay, we're back. And with my Emperor's Armor, it's already affecting the tower, which is amazing. I do have meditation, so even though I'm low in mana, I should be fine to stay here. Let's use it. Never mind, I'm not fine. I'm not fine, I'm not fine, I'm not fine. Come on, give me the crit. That was so awesome, dude! <laughs> I asked the spike gods for the crit, it gave me the crit, which gave me the cooldown to use my abilities and kill him. <laughs> That's so awesome. Whoa! Okay. I know I, the first hit was because of lag, the second was because I wanted to clear the minion wave. Maybe I am the one lagging. Maybe it's not him. Maybe it is me. It says I have 65 ping though. My conspiracy theory. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Okay. And I promise you it's nothing like the moon landing's fake. Okay, that's not it. But my conspiracy theory that I don't know if I believe in anymore, but I used to heavily believe in it, is that this ping number is actually just kind of fake. Like it'll, it's kind of represents your ping, but if this sometimes like it'll be really bad, the ping will be really bad and it'll be like, okay, you're at a 80 ping. And there's been other times I've had just really, really bad connections and it said it was lower than it actually is. I don't know, man. I don't know. I saw a discussion on Reddit that if you ever run into a conspiracy theory and you don't want to deal with them, you just one up them. So if they try telling you the moon landing's fake, then you go, you believe in the moon? Are you insane? The moon's not real. You just try to try to one up them. Doesn't matter what it is. Now if they keep going, then that that that's where it gets problematic. I didn't get the gold sound effect for those. I don't think I did. Wait, are you doing what I think you're doing? Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> no, get back over here. I'm not done bullying you after that. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I <laughs> use your blink. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I. Man. This Bakasura may be one of the unluckiest Bakasuras I've ever fought due to how things are going. Just the special crits, me stealing Demon King with an auto attack after my ult didn't kill it. Just everything, man. I didn't even pay attention that he was going over there. I placed a ward over there earlier, but it, I guess it ran out. Oh, my homie. I wonder if I used that right away if I would have gotten him. Probably. Like right as he leaped. Oops. Yeah, Hydra's is really fun with this because I am getting such big crits. <laughs> Plus, it's, you know, the more abilities I use, the more Hydra's procs I get. Oh. Okay, this is... <laughs> Calm down, Boxer. I do feel bad that he's lagging, but I can't really do anything about that. Alright, we're so close to getting to level 20. If I get level 20, I will have full cooldown, which will mean that I will be able to show the Bumba's Hammer Malicious Deathbringer at its full power. Even if I don't have my the rest of my build online. Well, I guess that's not true. I do need more crit. Now, Rage would have been good, <laughs> but I didn't rush it. And I can get it now, but well, let's see. How much, how much crit chance is it? 30%? How much is Wind Demon? 20%? Give me this. Whoa, what? 
How is that even close? Oh, I shouldn't have spent my gold because I need Bumpus Hammer. Well, I have tier 1 and I'm still level 18, so I should be able to afford it once I get to level 20. If you start with tier 1 Bumpus Hammer, um, then you should be able to afford it if you get it at the end of level 18. But if you skipped it as a starter item, then you have to save up a little bit more. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> in a way i'm kind of glad that i didn't kill him because i don't have my bumpus hammer yet <laughs> like i wanted to make the most of the fight but i also you know still want to see the items still want to get the build online if i win this game by the way that would mean that i have a hundred percent win rate with this hercules game with this hercules build because last week I was able to win a game with this exact same build. Well, I guess not exact same. Some of these other items were different, but with the same concept of build. All right. Oh, I did the thing. I did the thing where I bought an item when I was actually level 20. Now I have to wait longer. No, I don't. I could sell this. How much can I sell this for? I'll sell it. It's not giving me crit chance anyways. It's not going to make a difference. Oh, all right. What about the wards? Sell everything. Sell my soul if I have to. For that sweet, sweet Bumbus hammer. All right. Okay, he's got... He's getting double slash triple defense if you count stone cutting sword. And I have no penetration. That's what Wind Demon was for. But does it matter? I mean, Bumbus hammer is true damage that's all that matters right why would i get penetration when i deal true damage huh oh oh no whatever shall i do huh whatever shall i do boxer whatever shall i do we got to kind of see it i didn't use my meditation because I wasn't sure if he was going to actually get away. If I knew he wasn't going to get away, I, I would have popped it just to get as many cooldowns as possible. What is my crit chance anyways? 63%. Yeah, that's pretty good. Is that not game? That might not be game. Because if I use my abilities, I'm going to run out of mana. I could use my meditation, but... He's spawning pretty soon anyways. Now we use it. Oh, I missed my Bumbus Brock. Kinda cool, but he's so fast. Whoops. I'm running out of mana. I gotta leave. Dang. Oh, do I pick up red buff or blue buff? I'm actually gonna pick up blue buff. I'm doing plenty of damage. Oh, you took blue buff. Never mind. I'm doing plenty of damage. I'm just running out of mana. Even though Hydra's Lament gives me a lot of mana, it's not enough. Maybe instead of Wind Demon, I could finish it with a Blackthorn Hammer. Now, that will, again, overcap me on cooldown, but it doesn't matter. But it would give me enough MP5. Transcends is way too late to go Transcends. And with Rage, I have enough crit where it should be fine. Whoops. Also, let's get... Let's get this upgraded pretty soon. You know what? I just realized too, I'm actually not at 40% cooldown because I of the build I opted for. I only have 30% right now. So sorry about that mistake. Too bad I can't pick up blue buff now because I picked up red buff. So I actually have to get red buff if I want the full cooldown experience. One thousand, or I just finish this item since I'm so close in gold anyways. Seems like the better plan. And then we'll be at the right amount of cooldown. I won't need power potion. Alright, I can buy the item. 
Goodbye, Boxer, for I am going to the my base. Get my build finished. Alright, so I should have full cooldown. Yep. I have 63% crit chance. Could have more, but they did change the way crit uh, works, for those that didn't hear about that. So, crit used to be pure randomness, and now it's like calculated randomness? Or how, what was the way they put it? Controlled randomness, yes. So, before it would just be the 10% chance every time or whatever crit chance you had for every single auto attack, but sometimes it felt wrong because you would keep missing over and over even though you had high crit chance. Or you'd get a ton of crits with barely any crit, you know? But they've changed it now so that um, the more you miss crits, the higher you actually have a, the chance of critting again. And the more you crit, the lower chance you have of critting again. Of course, oh my goodness, I can't, I can't move. <laughs> you guys see that? I almost died, but my three healed me to like full health. Don't leap, don't leap. Dang it. Oh, he's lagging so bad. I'm running out of mana still. Oh man, come on. Come on. But Blackthorn Hammer, what are you doing? It's supposed to be giving me infinite mana. Oh, I missed my auto cancel. He's too fast. All right, I think I, I think I should try to end it. I am low on mana, so I'll have, to, I'll have to come back one more time. But now we're just gonna try to end it. Kind of hard to kill him with his triple defense type situation, <laughs> and the fact that I have zero penetration. <laughs> but it's a fun build. It's a fun build to do. I don't actually recommend this build, but it's definitely fun, and that's what I always try for. I try and strive for. I'm also going to get Mana Chalice, because why not, honestly? Why not? All that matters at this point is Mana, so... Alright. It's time to end it. That is a hopeful Demon King if I've ever seen one. But it's all... It's honestly always good to get Demon King before your Phoenix respawns if you have the chance. Because then it means your opponent can't get it when your Phoenix spawns. So it's like good, but his Titan's already so low. I could run past him. I won't run past him, but if he jumps back into base again, then I'm ending it. I can't. Yeah, he's going back to base. Time to end it. I can only take fights so many times with him going back to base before it's just like, okay, time to end. <laughs> I do like to uh, end with a kill usually, but it's not always possible. So his ult was really good against me that game. It actually stopped me from doing my combo so much, but yeah. GG's my dude. Still in gold again because of the ranked reset. I haven't really been playing enough to get back out of it but uh i'd say i'd say usually my matchmaking has been still like diamond or i guess flat level this one i think was still like gold but i think overall i am getting up there slowly but surely anyways i hope you guys have a great day and i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i forgot to show the stats there we go and i will see you guys next time all right Bye, buddy.